three, two, one. Here we go! Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be speaking on Google dorking, also known as Google hacks. If you guys aren't familiar with this concept or technique, Watch till the end and we're gonna learn something new today. If you guys are new, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, guys, so here we go, we're on the desktop. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a site search, right? What we're gonna do is do it on my site, which is infosecpat.com. So if we just do infosecpat.com on Google, we can see that we have 32, uh, uh, 320,000 results right here, right? Let's make that a little larger. And we can see my cool site. This is my site, infosecpat.com. Okay, so we'll get back to that in a bit. So the first thing we can do is do a site. So if I do do site colon infosecpat.com, look at that. Now there's 10 results. That's a big difference. So if we're targeting, for example, infosecpat.com is my client and we're trying to do some advanced queries on Google, this will give me a lot slimmer you know, things to work with, right? I don't have to go through a whole bunch of boatload of uh, URLs, right? So say for an example, let's go back to uh, to infosecpat.com for a second. So let's go to about us. Mean, meanwhile, it's just about me, but about us, right? Because we're all, we're all one. This is a little bit about me, a little bit about my, uh, my credentials or whatever, right? So now what we can do here, we can do the, the minus, which we can, take away, right? We can actually remove keywords. So say for example, about us, I wanna go ahead and remove about us, okay? Let me do, I wanna put admin about us. All right, so let me see, maybe dash. All right, so that's, let's go ahead and just do about us. All right, so now we can see here there's about us, there's nothing really there. So it's not really giving me too much results. So that's not really a good, let's do videos, okay? So now that's only four results because we can see videos here, okay? So we can see that we can slim it down even more, all right? So now what we can do next, we can do something called in URL. So say for example, we wanna see in the URL itself, it has something specific, right? So we can do in URL colon, and for example, in my case, let's say YouTube. I don't think I have any YouTube, okay? But I know we have, let's go ahead and go to in URL, let's go for an example, videos. Videos, you know, get blah, blah, blah. So we have a video, so let's go ahead and go videos. Okay, so we do have a video's URL. So it's only one here, or four, but this is pretty much where I wanna go. And that gives me that specific content, right? So the next thing we can do here is say, for example, we wanna go ahead and search for files on my website. I don't think I have any files on my website, but if we did, or if the target did, what we can do is type in file T-Y-P-E, type, equals, so this is, say for an example, if there's any password documents, if there's a document file like a .docx, a .doc, PDFs, maybe manuals out there, or some kind of, maybe someone's uh, playbook, or any kind of information out there that's on the interwebs, we can try to query for that. So let me just do PDF. I don't have anything on my website, so that's that should be fine there, okay? So let's say for an example, MOV. I don't think I have any MOVs on there either. All right, so now the last thing I wanna show you guys before we go, we're gonna do related, right? So we can do related to infosecpath.com. So these are all the things that are related to me, right? That Or someone that put my name or use my name out on there, on the sites or whatever. So for example, that's my my Twitter, and you can see the gist of this, right? So with that being said, right, now we I wanna go ahead and showcase something really quick before we end the video. So we can go on to exploit-db.com, Google Hacking Database. So in here, this is pretty, pretty neat, and I would 
get familiar with this if you're interested in OSINT, open source intelligence, or any kind of Google hacking, right? So for an example, we have password in the search. So these are different kinds of queries we can utilize for our search, right? A, a site dot uh, colon, is that colon? Yeah, asterisk forgot password dot PHP. You guys get the gist, right? And there's one thing I want to showcase that there you can go right on Google. I want to show this because I think this is an awesome little cheat sheet. So for the advanced operators, right? We can see the advanced operators, the meaning and what to type into the search bar, right? I just had this off to the side. And for an example, the site colon, which is my, my case, this is right from SANS. So you can get this right from SANS. And you can see all the different operators on the left-hand side here. And you can see the meaning of it and how to use it. So I think this is super useful have the, having this cheat sheet inside your arsenal, inside your toolbox, because it's gonna come handy. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I really thank you so much for viewing and please remember like, subscribe and share. Let's try to get to that 100K this year. Hopefully we do, but thank you again and see you in the next one.